but I like doing things the hard way because it's much more fun. You also get a ton of OP weapons and an amazing secret item that I'll show you at the end of the video. The hard way does require some preparation though. Step one, get a lot of weapon inventory. To do that, head to Hyrule and talk to this thick Korok Hetsu to spend your Korok seeds. <laughs> Stancing around. Oh my gosh, I forgot that. I love it. So happy I have more space. Then cook some meals with Sundalions as these repair broken hearts. So we're going to be fighting a lot. But sadly, it only repairs broken hearts in the game. Next step, go get that auto builder ability. If you don't have it, head to Central Mine here in the depths, and it allows you to rebuild things instantly. After talking to the Zonite robot that gives you the auto builder, you'll run into Master Koga, who whines literally like a little baby, so you have to fight him. Uh, it is an easy fight, though. I'm actually going to get hit by this thing. Uh, did you? Oh, well, that's hilarious. He literally uses rockets and he just, okay. But now the battery grind starts here because after you beat Koga, you get a huge crystallized charge, which equals 100 normalized crystal charges and 100 crystallized charges equals one singular energy well for your battery. And we want to spend our crystals we just got at refineries, which are located here. Second most important tip, build this OP fan bike to travel literally anywhere. Place the fan upside down, put the handlebars centered on the front lip, then grab the other fan and put it as centered as possible to the front and boom, look at this thing. There we go, baby, let's go. Go. Now save that as a favorite in the auto build and then toss this giant bright boom flower on the front. Now start flying around looking for light root shine, select the map and enemy bases as they're guarding a ton of zonite deposits. It is a camp. Let's go. This is just a nice grand entrance. They'll like surround it and bam. <laughs> and it killed some of them. But that literally one shots them. That's insane. We're hoping for large zonite though. There we go. And we want a ton of the zonite because we use this to buy the crystallized charges at the refineries right over right here for more energy wells. This is the conversions for zonite you get. So you need 2000 crystallized charges to max your battery out. So yeah, that is a lot. So keep flying around and fighting as there's endless enemy bases and you'll rack up tons of zonite quick. But also this is a great way to farm arrows as the crates have a ton, the bow monsters drop a ton, as well as get many strong used materials for your weapons, which gets you really OP fast. As you keep flying around and repeating this, you also run into bosses and you want to fight them for easy crystallized charges. I'm struggling right now to get his back. Why? I don't know. There we go, bro. But the reason why these things are a beast, large, Crystallize charge. 20 of them. A stall knocks. The heck? His eye literally falls out. Just don't let it get back in. Don't let it get back in. Barely got it. Alright, we beat him. Whoa. 20 more zone I charges. Oh my gosh. Bro, we just hit the jackpot. Yeah, those hotspots are insane and they have tons of zone deposits here. And they are usually next to mines marked on the map like the Gustav Canyon Mines. So always head and explore them. As you explore more, you'll run into big bosses that you beat in the overworld like flux constructs and also the temple bosses you've already beat. And you find them on these rings in the map. The small bosses give you 20 crystallized charges, but the temple bosses, if you beat them again, give you a huge crystallized charge the first time you beat it. So you for sure want to take them on. Muktorak again. Again, all right, welcome, welcome back. Should end it. Let's go, dude. That unlocks the chest. A huge crystallized zone HR. That's a hundred. We have enough for another battery. As you roam around more, check out these shadow figures. They'll give you undamaged weapons. You'll find awesome gear. You got adults with chests with more crystals and tons more minion temple bosses. So once you get a good amount of zone and crystal charges, be sure to cash them out at refineries and get more battery cells because this makes this process even faster. Also, here's some cool tricks I found out after fighting down there for a long time to clear monster camps fast. Use puff shrooms. Trust me. I think that was everyone. That was a clean one too. And get a large zone knight. Literally, puff shrooms are everywhere next to the trees and rocks. And you just assassinate them because they don't know what's going on because they can't see you apparently. Wherever I'm at, I just got the coolest thing ever. The silver lifos horn. Look at that, dude. That is insane. But if you want to have more fun taking them out, use Muddle Buds. These make enemies literally fight each other, and it's hilarious. Lily, take them out. Hey. I'm doing the fight. Oh, big guy is just picking on him. It's a 3v1. All right. Big versus little. We, we know who's winning this one. It's looking prime. He's got him in the... Oh. And we have your winner.
Thank you. Oh, oh, right there. Oh. Right, right where you don't want to be hit. Thank you, sir, for all the help. Now, let's get to the hard part, but makes farming way easier once we complete it. The Lionel Gauntlet. Lionels are incredibly tough to kill if you don't know how to fight them, which at this time, I did not, as it showed right here. Jeez, bro. Are you freaking kidding me? Blow myself up? Oh my gosh. I do it? I killed the Lionel, let's go! After a while, I barely beat it using like the worst tactics ever and it took forever, but you get a tons of weapons and more importantly, 20 crystallized charges for beating that. But to max my battery, I needed to beat the five round Lionel gauntlet and to get the crazy OP secret item if I win. To get there, go to self high rule, drop through this chasm to go to this area on the map and use your hover bike to get into the gauntlet. Now I figure out the normal way to be a Lionel now is to pray their attack, hit the ride with your bow, jump on their back and just hit them a bunch of times and repeat. But I did not know that strat the first time I fought them. So I used a cheese strategy where I just kind of sat there and destroyed them. It took a while, but we eventually did get it. The final moments. Let's flipping go. The cheese. My cannons weren't even on. They weren't even working. Let's go, dude. Holy crap. A 62 shield. Let's see what we get. Oh, man. Oh, you get Majora's Mask? Now leave a comment down below if you'd love to see a video of the cheese strat I used. Now that gave us Majora's Mask, and that will make farming Zonite way easier. As the monsters literally do not attack even the other mask on unless you hit them. So you just run to all the camps, farm the Zonite deposits, and move on. Thing to note too, these deposits respawn every once in a while, so you can check old ones you did, and the Blood Moon respawns all the big bosses and the Lionels. And just like that, you'll get max batteries either using the easy way that I showed you, or the hard way, whichever one you prefer. Be sure to subscribe for more. Goodbye.